I have a little bit of history and a lot of experience with these Richer 9904 gloves. They're a pretty popular winter glove even though they're probably one of the worst named pieces of kit that I've ever seen. I actually bought a set exactly this time one year ago when I was still on my 125. I used them throughout the whole of the winter of 2020 and into the early months of 2021. And I loved them, I loved how warm they were, I've used them in the rain, they're completely waterproof, I've never got wet hands. But I just couldn't get over how bulky and uncomfortable they were. When I got my Z400, I read to work with them on about two times, and after the second time I decided that I wasn't going to wear them again because I could barely feel anything and it was really uncomfortable. So I made it through the winter of 2021 and early months of 2022 with just heated grips and my summer gloves on. But when the weather got really cold, on this ride it was 6 degrees, even that wasn't cutting it. My summer gloves have vents in them, so my hands were still getting freezing cold. So I started looking for another set of winter gloves to replace the ones I had that I didn't really like. And while I was doing this, I actually realised that there's two versions of these gloves. There's a men's or a unisex version, and there's a ladies specific version. I realised that I'd actually bought the men's version in an extra small, which was still too big for me, and I remembered that I did that because the ladies ones were out of stock at the time. So I rode up to my nearest sports bike shop to try a pair on in person, and see if the ladies version would make a difference. And as you can probably tell by the fact that I wore the gloves all the way on the ride home, I love the ladies version. They fit so much better and they fix all of the problems I had with the unisex version, whilst providing the same warmth and waterproof abilities. These gloves have a thin sulate lining, which is a kind of synthetic insulation, and they're incredibly warm. To give you an idea, with my summer gloves, I usually have my heated grips on about 50% or 75%, but with the winter gloves on, I have to have it on 100% for me to really be able to feel the warmth. But this is a good thing, it means that my palms don't burn on the grips, and I know that all that warmth is staying inside the glove. I'd say that in temperatures down to about 6 to 8 degrees, you can probably get away with just wearing the gloves without any kind of heated grips. I find that I don't tend to ride when it's much colder than that anyway, just because of the risk of ice on the roads, so for normal winter riding, these gloves are more than enough for me. I haven't tested the ladies ones in the rain yet, but I have tried the men's ones in the rain for just over an hour, and they were more than fine. My hands didn't get wet or cold at all. In terms of comfort, the lining inside is really soft and nice to wear, and they're really comfortable gloves as long as you get the right size. And the sizing honestly is a little bit weird on both the unisex and the women's version, following the size guide I measure as a small, but the men's extra small is still a little bit too big for me and the ladies small are a tiny bit too tight, especially on the thumbs, so I'd say if you can just try them on, or order a couple of sizes and see which one fits you best. The main thing with winter gloves is you want them to be snug but not too tight. If your gloves are way too tight, the heat is just going to escape straight out of the glove and your fingers are going to get cold. So I found that the tips of my thumbs did get a little bit cold on the ride home, but I think that's just because they're a little bit too tight for me. But once you have a size that fits well for you, you can still feel and use your controls with no issues. Which is really nice for a set of quite thick winter gloves. The only thing I don't like about the gloves is the cuff. They're designed to go over your jacket, but I find that they don't quite fit over or under my textile jacket. They fit over the cuffs of my leather jacket nicely, but I'm rarely wearing a leather jacket and winter gloves. Also, I find that once I've got one glove on, it's really difficult to get the other one on, as you can see me struggling here. The fact that I can't zip my sleeves down all the way means that there is a risk of water getting through there, so it's a little bit less waterproof, but other than that, it's fine. This is another reason I'd say it's important to try these gloves on with the jacket that you're going to be wearing on the bike you're going to be riding. They have a small bit of plastic on the left index finger so you can wipe rain off of your visor, but honestly I find it's not that effective, it's much more effective to just wipe the visor with the palm of my hand, which is what I always do. In terms of protection, these gloves have a lot of leather on them, they have a whole leather palm and a bit of thick leather over the knuckles. I would prefer some plastic knuckle protectors just for a bit of extra safety, but most winter gloves don't have this so I don't really expect it. The build quality is held up over the year of using them and I'm pretty confident they'd hold up in a slide as well. I'm so glad that I tried the ladies version of these gloves on because I was about to make a review and said they're really warm but they're so clumsy you can't feel your controls and they're almost a bit dangerous to use. But after getting some that actually fit me well, all of those problems are gone, they're a really warm, comfortable, waterproof winter glove and they're only about £32. They're really good value for what you get and I really would recommend these gloves. But I would recommend trying them on if possible before you buy them, either in person or if you order from somewhere you can return them easily, because the sizing's a bit weird and the cuff may or may not work with the jacket that you intend on using it with. But if you find a set that work for you and they fit you well, these are a really good glove and excellent value. I'd also say that if you plan on riding in temperatures lower than 5 degrees or into the freezing, these probably aren't going to be warm enough on their own. And I'd look at getting some heated grips or heated gloves at that point. But for the kind of riding I do, these are more than enough, and I'm happy that I've got a really good set of winter gloves now.